as you're here, welcome to a gentle chair flow. Uh, before we get started, I just want to run through a few things that you'll need for this practice. First, you'll notice I'm wearing um, leggings and a um, cotton blend shirt so that I'm comfortable during my practice. So just make sure that you're wearing clothes that aren't restrictive and that can allow you to move and flow with our practice today. Up next, need a chair. I've got a wooden chair that I've placed upon my mat. If you have a chair that has wheels on it, please make sure that those wheels are locked during the practice. My chair does not have arms, just to not restrict my movement in any way throughout our practice. If your chair does have arms and you are limited and that you do not have another chair to use, that's okay, no problem. We will make it work. The other item that I have with me today is my strap. Uh, if you do not have a strap that's explicitly for joyful movement or for movement, um, that's totally fine. You can grab a scarf or a necktie or a belt, a dish towel might even work. So just get creative with that if a strap is not something that you have. So if you need to gather up those items, press pause here and come back once you're all settled. I will say one more thing about my chair. I've placed it on my mat so that it is stable and does not move around during my practice. So just make sure that whatever the flooring is underneath your chair uh, is conducive to keeping you supported throughout our practice. Let's get started. So I'm gonna come, got my strap in my hand. I'm gonna come and take a seat in my chair. I'm gonna scooch my booty forward so that um, my back is not leaning up against the back of the chair, just to start. Let's start with our feet. I'm gonna place my strap behind me. Start with our feet, grounding down into the floor, lifting up all 10 toes placing them back down. All four corners of your feet are touching the floor. If you're wearing shoes or socks during your practice, no problem. Just pushing down into the soles of your socks or your shoes will give you the same effect. So sit up tall with your spine. Let the crown of your head rise up to the ceiling. Let your hands rest on your thighs, your knees, or if you do have armrests, this is a great opportunity to use them and begin to settle in to your practice. If you like, I invite you to close your eyes, find a soft gaze down at the floor, and just begin to tune in to the natural rhythm of your breath, inhaling and exhaling, pulling the air through your nose or your mouth, and letting the air flow out through your nose or your mouth. No need to add a technique to your breathing here. Just settle into that natural rhythm of your breath. Begin to notice how your breath communicates with your nervous system and your brain to just allow yourself to settle a little bit deeper before we begin our practice today. Keeping that length in your spine and just noticing how the natural rhythm of your breath is allowing you to arrive in our space and to tune in so that you can be present with your practice, with your body, with this community that we're creating here today. Now I invite you to begin to deepen your inhales and your exhales. So as you pull the air into your body, fill up your throat, the top of your lungs, the bottom of your lungs, and then all the way down into the bottom of your belly expanding across the bottom of your belly as you pull the air in, taking up space that you need to take up to fill your body up with these nourishing breaths. 
And as you exhale, you may notice a contraction in the bottom of your belly and the bottom of your lungs as you push the air back out. Begin to notice if these deeper breaths change anything for you as you sit here and engage in your practice today. Notice if your shoulders move a little bit further down your back. Notice if you have more ease in your seat. Just gather up this information as you place it in your basket of your knowledge of yourself today. As you continue these deep belly breaths, begin to do a body scan, just noticing the areas of your body that are calling out to you for your attention. Perhaps that's because adjustments need to be made in your clothing or your feet or the positions of your hands. Just go ahead and do that. Do it throughout your practice. Being comfortable in your body, being comfortable as we move through our practice will really allow you to go a little bit deeper today. If there's any areas that are painful or uncomfortable, just see if there's an adjustment that can be made to mitigate some of that. If you're someone who lives with chronic pain, um, if there's something that will allow you to be more comfortable, please pause the video and go make sure that you have that. And begin to bring your attention inward. As, to, as you finish up your body scan, just allow yourself to come back to our space. Continuing with those deep belly breaths for another few rounds of breath here. Just allowing you to arrive, allowing you presence to be here in this moment. your eyes are closed, gently blink them open. We're going to begin our gentle flow here today. I'm so glad you're here to join me. In your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, letting your gaze lift to your palms, bringing your shoulders back and down, pausing with your arms extended high, and then on your next exhale, take that left hand and begin to turn your torso, placing your left hand on the side of your right thigh, bringing your right hand around the back of your chair. I've placed my hand just on the seat of my chair. And then begin to find a gentle twist with your head and your neck and your gaze, letting your gaze be your guide here. So not going further, then your eyes can reach, not trying to push yourself into a position that doesn't feel good to your body. We're just waking up our bodies here, allowing ourselves the grace to go slow so that we can remain curious and open. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back up to the sky, letting your torso come back to center. Gaze lifts up to those palms once again, shifting those shoulders down the back. And then on your next exhale, bringing that right hand over to the left thigh, placing the left hand behind you, finding a gentle twist towards the left. Again, letting your gaze be your guide, finding that place of balance between effort and ease. Your breath is a really good tool to help you to stay within that balance of effort and ease. If you notice that it becomes harder to take those deep belly breaths throughout your practice, coming back a little bit so that you can 
find those deep belly breaths once again can be really helpful. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back up to the sky, letting your gaze lift, shifting those shoulders down your back, and then turning your palms towards the screen as you exhale your hands down to your knees. Just notice if there's been any shift or change in your body, in your heart, in your mind, in just doing those couple gentle movements. The answer can be yes, the answer can be no, it can be I don't know. There's no right answer, just your answer. Now we'll bring our shoulders up to our ears, bring them up, and then slowly draw them down your back. We'll do that three more times. Up to your ears and pull them down your back. Up to your ears and pull them down your back. One more time. Up to your ears and pull them down your back. Wonderful. You can slide your hands so that the tips of your fingers are cupping your kneecaps if that's comfortable. We're going to go through a cat-cow flow here. So to move into our cow, we're going to bring our torso forward. You'll notice my elbows begin to bend. My arms begin to bend at the elbow. My heart comes forward. My shoulders are staying down my back. I'm rooting down into my feet. And then my gaze and my chin are going to come up to the ceiling. You'll notice the openness across your chest, the stretch in your pectoral muscles, the engagement in your core. And then as we shift into cat, my arms begin to straighten out, my chin tucks, my spine is rounded, and I pause here. So find your own flow with this, coming forward with your gaze and your heart into cow, and then tucking your chin, rounding your spine as you go into cat. Go slow here so that you can pay attention to what's going on in your body. Another option is to also use your breath to be your guide here, breathing in as you come into cow and exhaling as you come into cat. Breathing in as you come into cow. Breathing out as you come into cat. So go through two more full rounds of that. And then come back to center, sitting up tall, letting your hands rest on your knees once again. We're going to do some torso rotations now, or some hip circles is what I would call them when we are standing up. So with your hands resting on your knees, just begin to circle your torso around, keeping your pelvic bowl upright, keeping the openness across your shoulders. These circles can get bigger if you wish, or they can stay small. That's up to you. We will switch directions, so no matter where you started, we will make sure we get both sides. The next time you're through center, pause and switch directions. Using your breath here, rooting down in your booty, to keep your sits bones connected to the chair beneath you, keeping your feet connected to the floor. And then the next time you're through center, pause here. Bring your right ear over to your right shoulder. Notice the stretch along the left side of your neck, perhaps down into your shoulder. If you'd like some more sensation here, a couple options. You can bring the palm of your left hand toward the floor, really pushing into that palm. I get an increase of sensation down my left arm here. If you'd like even more than that, you can take that right hand, place it on the side of your head just to add a little bit of extra weight 
but not pulling down. You're welcome to stay here if you wish or try it out. And if it's not for you, go back to what works for you. Inhale your head back up to center. Exhale your left ear to your left shoulder. Remembering that everything that I offer throughout this video are invitations. You don't have to RSVP yes. You know your body best. So give your body what your body needs. Options are still available here for increased sensation, palm towards the floor, left hand on the, le on the side of the head. You decide what works. Inhale your head back up. Now with the tip of your nose, begin to draw circles you may want to close your eyes here. I do find that this can be a little disorienting if my eyes are open. The circles can get bigger if you wish, or they can remain small. Go slow so that you can really feel into your cervical spine here, any sensations that come up that you want to be aware of. The next time you're through center, pause and switch directions. And then come back to center, pausing, and then blink your eyes open. Wonderful. Go ahead and grab your strap now. Place your strap in both of your hands so that there's some tension between your strap. I've got my hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. You can come in a little more narrow if that works better, or you can come out even wider if that works better. So take a minute to decide what works best for your body. You do not have to follow me exactly because we do not have the same bodies. You can keep your hands rested on your knees for a moment. Let's take a quick second to adjust our Let's take a quick second to adjust our posture, sitting up tall, shoulders back and down, rooting down in those feet so that you're really grounded. And then on your next inhale, slowly begin to raise your strap above your head. You can stop anywhere you like, depending on the sensations that you're feeling in your body. Bring your, keeping your shoulders back and down, really allowing your shoulders to open up here. If you'd like even more sensation, you can slide your hands along the strap, making them a little bit wider now. And just pausing here, finding your breath, allowing yourself to be integrated in this movement. On your next inhale, Begin to bring your right hand down towards the floor, which will pull your left hand over above your head. If your strap is in front of you, it will still bring your strap over to the right a little bit more, getting that stretch along the left side. Inhale back up to center, pausing here, and then using that left hand to pull down towards the floor allowing that right hand to come overhead. Pausing here, inhale back up to center, slowly exhale back down. Wonderful. You can let your hands rest on your knees once again. Just notice any sensations that come up. Notice if you're building heat, notice if your breath has become a little more labored. All of these are natural things that happen as we begin to move our bodies. No need to attach a moral value or a judgment to the things that happen to us as we move our bodies. These are personal experiences and they don't need um, a judgment to be attached to them to take our focus away from our practice today. With your strap, once again, you can Bring it out long if you've got a scarf 
um, you don't have to do this. So, no. Boop. So grab your strap once again. Grab your strap once again in your hands. I'm keeping mine about a little wider than shoulder distance apart. This time we're just gonna lift our hands up to about shoulder level and then slowly let them come back down. So slowly lifting our arms up to shoulder height and then slowly lifting them back down. Noticing here your shoulders and bringing them back and down so they're not up by your ears as we move through this practice. Lifting up, and lifting down. Lifting up, and coming back down. We'll do that three more times. Lifting up, and coming back down. Lifting up, and coming back down. Beautiful. You can take your strap and put it behind you, put it beside you, wherever is out of your way. Finding yourself in your seat, sitting up tall. Your booty is toward the edge of the chair. If you want to take a second to move any flesh out of the way, that can help really root down in your sits bones a little deeper. Settle back in, sitting up tall, letting the crown of your head shine up toward the ceiling, hands resting on your knees, and pausing here. We're gonna go through Suri Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Um, I'm gonna modify this and make it my own, and I'm going to add to it as we go. So. Sitting up tall, we're gonna go through a sun salutation flow. In Sanskrit, they call a sun salutation Suri Namaskar. I'm gonna do a modified version here as we are in our chairs, and I'm going to go through Suri Namaskar A, sun salutation A in our chairs. This will be a modified version so as we go through it, if you and sitting up tall, opening across your chest, finding a soft gaze down at the floor, we'll begin our flow by starting in Tadasana in mountain pose. So with your feet rooted down, tall in your spine, engaged in your core, you can bring your hands down to the sides so that they're hanging close to your hips. You can bring your hands up to heart center and keep your hands rested on your knees, whatever works for your body today. So start in your mountain pose. You can close your eyes here if you wish, making those adjustments, shoulders down, feet engaged, any clothing that needs that adjustment, just go ahead and do it so that you're attention can stay in our space. Bring your attention back to your breath, inhaling and exhaling in your natural rhythm. Inhale your arms up to the sky, letting your gaze lift and then turning your palms out to the sides of the room as you sweep your arms back down and begin to lean your torso forward, letting your arms come down to the floor, to your feet, to your shins, wherever is comfortable. Letting your head hang heavy, finding your forward fold. Inhale your hands up to your shins or your knees, finding a flat back and then letting your gaze come forward. And then exhale all the way back down into your fold. Pausing here. And then sweeping your arms back up as you lift your torso up. Your gaze lifts up to the ceiling and then let your arms float down to your side. 
and find your mountain once again. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. I'm gonna add some movements as we go here. So breathing in, breathing out. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling, gaze lifts, lifting up out of the rib cage, bringing those shoulders back and down, turning the palms out to the side as you sweep your arms down to the side, leaning forward with your torso, hands come to the floor or your feet or your legs. Inhale up. Halfway lift, gaze comes forward. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Pausing here and then leaning your torso forward, keeping your arms lifted, engaging your feet in the floor, finding your version of seated chair. Your arms can stay lifted, they can come to your hips, they can come out into cactus arms with your fingers splayed. You decide what version works for you today. On your next exhale, bring your arms back down, let your torso fold forward, let your head hang heavy. Inhale your hands up to your shins, find a flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, fold back down, pressing into those feet once again, and then sweeping your arms back up to the ceiling, bringing your palms together. Exhale to heart center. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Let your hands float down to your sides once again, finding that mountain pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale your arms back up. Let that gaze lift once again. Tall in the torso, long in the spine, up and out of the rib cage. Turn your palms to the sides of your space as you sweep your arms down, leaning your torso forward, folding forward, letting your head hang heavy. Inhale up. Hands on your shins, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, back down. Sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Keep your arms lifted. Bring your torso forward, open across the chest and find your version of seated chair. Beautiful. Sweep your arms back down to your sides. Heel toe your feet out so that your left foot is out towards the left side. Your right foot is out towards the right. Sitting up tall in your chair. Leaning your torso slightly forward. Hands are on your knees. Finding your version of seated goddess. You can bring your hands up to heart center. You can bring your hands out, splayed your fingers. Decide what works for you today. Inhale and exhale. Noticing if your body is building heat, noticing your breath. Exhale your arms back down if they're lifted. Heel toe your feet back together. Sweep your arms back up, gaze lifts. Turning your palms out, begin to come forward into your forward fold once again. Inhale up to a flat back gaze lift. Exhale back down, sweeping your arms up to the sky. Exhaling hands to heart center. Beautiful. Let your hands come down to your sides now, finding your Tadasana, your mountain pose once again. Inhaling and exhaling. Sweep your arms back up to the ceiling. Begin to fold forward as you turn your palms out, hands come to the floor, head is heavy. 
Inhale, flat back, hands to shins, gaze forward. Exhale, back down. Inhale, all the way up. Bring your torso forward, arms stay lifted, shoulders back and down, and find your version of seated chair. On your next exhale, sweep your arms back down, heel toe your feet out wide so that your Left toes are out to the right, left, your right toes are out to the right. Sitting up tall, you can keep your hands on your hips here. Bring your torso slightly forward. You can bring your arms out to the side, finding your version of seated goddess. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Let your arms float back down. Heel toe your feet back together. Bring your hands to place them on your knees. We're going to bring our elbows back down to our sides. My arms are bent. Now my hands are placed on my thighs. I'm going to open across my chest. I'm going to bring my torso forward, similar to what we were doing in cow. My arms are back at my sides rooting down in my sits bones. My gaze is lifted and I'm finding my seated cobra. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Noticing how this changes your point of view. Notice how your body reacts to this posture. And then as you exhale, letting your hands slide forward, sitting up tall, sweeping your arms up to the ceiling, then turning your palms out as you lean forward into your forward fold, letting your head hang heavy. Inhale up, flat back, gaze lifts. Exhale back down. Inhale all the way up, palms come together, exhale to heart center. Find your mountain pose once again, sitting up tall, allowing yourself to pause, to root down, to find your ground. And then sweep your arms back up, inhale, then as you exhale, begin to fold forward, sweeping your arms to the sides and down to the floor, letting your head hang heavy. Inhale up, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale back down to the floor. Sweep your arms back up to the ceiling and then lean your torso forward, shoulders back and down. Open across the chest and finding your version of seated chair. You can bring your hands to the hips once again. Your hands can stay forward. Whatever works for your body today. Bring your arms back down, sitting up tall. Heel toe your feet out to the side once again. Left toes out to the left, right toes out to the right. Sitting up tall. Shoulders back and down, open across the chest. Sits bones making contact with the chair beneath you. You can bring your hands to your hips. You can bring your arms out wide, splaying your fingers, finding your version of seated goddess. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. On your next exhale, let it all go. Heel toe your feet back to center. Place your hands on your knees, sitting up tall. And then slide your hands so that they're in the middle of your upper thigh. Your elbows are bent. Open across your chest. Pausing here just to check in with your posture. Breathing. And then on your next inhale, exaggerated heart 
shining through, letting your gaze lift up and finding your version of seated cobra. Pausing, allowing, present. As you exhale, come back to center, keeping your feet rooted down, finding your breath, and then heel toe your feet together so that you're zipping up your legs, engaging your legs. You may have to um, press your thighs and shins and knees together. If that doesn't feel good, just bring them as close together as does feel good sitting up tall, keeping that openness across your chest. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling and then slowly lower them out to the side so that your arms are reaching out to the left and to the right. Bring your palms down so that they're facing the ground, engaging in your legs. You'll notice this turns on your core and find your version of air, seated airplane today. Notice the engagement, notice the heat building, and then let it all go. Beautiful. Heel toe your feet back out so they're about hip distance or wider. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling, letting your gaze lift, and then turn your palms out as you fold forward, finding your forward fold once again. Inhale up into flat back, let your gaze lift forward, exhale back down, sweep your arms up to the ceiling, gaze lifts, palms come together, exhale to heart center. Breathing in, breathing out. Let your hands go down to your sides, sitting up tall, finding your mountain. Let's spend a few extra moments here in our mountain. Invite you to close your eyes or find a soft gaze. And just do a brief scan. Might be a scan of your physical body. Might be a scan of your emotional body, your spiritual body. And see if you can notice any shifts, any changes from when we began our practice. And when I say notice, I mean notice without judgment, notice without adding value to it. Just allow it to be what is. Inhale. And as you exhale, blow it out of your mouth. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale, exhale out of the mouth. Beautiful. You can bring your hands up to your knees, blink your eyes open. Beautiful. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling, letting that left hand come over to rest on the right thigh. Right hand comes behind, finding that seated twist once again. Noticing any differences or similarities in this posture since we did it at the beginning of our practice. Allowing your gaze to be your guide. Notice if things are a little more flexible. Notice things if things are tighter. This is all just information we're gathering up into our basket, allowing us to know ourselves a little more deeply today. Inhale your arms back up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand to left thigh, left hand behind, finding your gentle seated twist once again. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Slowly make your way back to center. 
Inhale your arms up to the sky. With your left hand, grabbing your right wrist, just giving your wrist a little tug over to the left side. And then switch your grip, letting your right hand grab your left wrist, give a tug over to the right. Let go, slowly let your hands float back down. With your hands resting on your legs, just flex and grip your hands, your fingers. Just giving your hands a little chance to do a little stretching. You can wiggle your fingers and thumbs and then give your wrists a rotation here. Popping is normal. Pain or zings are not. So if it's painful for you to do this, please pause. And bring your hands back down. Find your breath. And then when you're ready, you can move that strap out from behind you. Scoot your booty all the way back in your chair now so that your back is resting against the back of your chair, keeping your feet grounded down. Finding a comfortable position for your arms. Perhaps it's at your side or your armrests or on your legs. Lean back in your chair if that's comfortable for you. Closing your eyes or finding a soft gaze down at the floor. And begin to bring your attention back to your breath. Pulling the air in through your nose or your mouth and pushing the air out through your mouth or your nose. I invite you to notice when the air that you're pulling into your body becomes your breath. Perhaps it's when it goes over your lips or into your nostrils. Perhaps it's when it's in your mouth or down your throat. Just notice when that air becomes breath, becomes your breath. And then as you exhale, notice when that breath becomes air once again. It's going to be different for all of us. This is just a question of inquiry. There's no right answer. Just allow yourself to be curious. Settling back in, taking any technique off the breathing, just finding your natural rhythm once again. And find your way into your seated resting pose, your seated Shavasana. And allow yourself to just settle, let gravity do its work, pulling you down into your seat. Really allowing yourself to be still and be quiet. As you breathe in and out here, your mind may begin to wander out back into your world. I just invite you to practice mindfulness when your mind begins to wander and you notice the wandering. Bring yourself back to your body, to your breath, to this moment without judgment, without berating yourself. Just coming back. The mindfulness practice is in that coming back. All of our minds wander. It's part of the human experience. It's in the coming back that we are practicing mindfulness and strengthening our relationship with ourselves. Blink your eyes open once again, coming back into our space, looking around your space, noticing if anything feels different. Keep 
you like. I invite you to bring your hands to heart center in prayer. You could also place your hands over your heart, whatever feels comfortable for you today. I invite you to tuck your chin and bow your head. We'll close our class by sending each other gratitude for showing up today, for practicing, for taking care of ourselves. In your mind's eye, I invite you to repeat, may I be happy, may I be safe, may I be free. I invite you to send that same prayer out to all of the folks that we share this planet with by saying, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be free. We inhale back up. It is an honor and a privilege to share time with you. I hope that this chair yoga flow was of use to you and I look forward to sharing space with you again soon. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.